everybody. We're in Hermitage, Missouri. We decided we enjoyed camping at Warsaw last uh, trip that we decided we're going to do some more Corps of Engineer camping. We're at Palm de Terre Lake. We're going to check out right now what we're doing is unhooking the Jeep from the truck because we really don't know what campground we want to stay at. So uh, we're unhooking the Jeep. We're going to go check out Dam Site, Wheatland Park, and Nemo Park. And we're going to decide. How are we going to decide? View, neighbors, how many people are camping there, dogs, noise, things like that. That's how we decide. That's why reservations never work for us in campgrounds. This is so unusual for us. We usually never camp in campgrounds, but we're taking advantage of this $5 camping until April the 15th. We have made our decision. We are at Palm de Terre Lake. We're about ready to set up, and this is going to be our view for the next three days. We're at Dam Site Campground. Beautiful. Dave, how do you like our spot right here? Really good. Good view. Look at this view. We're about ready to eat lunch. We stopped at Versailles and got, had the girls make us some sandwiches. Check this out. Like, we're right here where we get to watch the speeding boats. We're going to give you a campground tour of this place. This is a Corps of Engineer on Palm de Terre Lake. It's costing us $5 with electricity. And we are by ourselves. Well, there is a lady sitting up there. But she's a Corps of Engineer worker. She's just here for the day, she said. This is going to be amazing. Can't wait for the sunset tonight. We're starting our campground tour of Dam Site Corps of Engineer Campground. It's in Hermitage, Missouri. When you enter the park, there is a booth that you stop at. We are going to do that because we are camping in this campground tonight. We just got our envelope filled out and we need to put it in the drop box. Here's your little drop box. We were up here earlier, you get your blank permits right there. We have ours all filled out. And put it in that little thing right there. You're good to go. I don't think these booths are manned anymore. Even though we are in shoulder season of Corps of Engineer campgrounds, it is Shoulder season is from March 1st to April 15th. The camp prices are half off. So a $20 electric site during the season is 10. And if you have an American Beautiful Pass or Senior Pass, it is $5. We are starting where the campsites are. Now remember, these are all empty because we're in March 28th. Okay, we're not really in the season, but we have found that this is gonna be our favorite time to use Corps of Engineer campgrounds. We are camping tonight with electricity for $5 and we are not normally campground campers, but we have found that we do enjoy $5 for electricity. Okay, right here, this is like a little finger off of the lake. Try to find a number here. Oh, they're on these little poles right here, 29. We got some pull throughs over here on our left hand side, 22. I'm gonna just do the best I can calling out numbers as I see them. Every spot has a picnic table and a fire ring and a lantern post. There's 80 sites here with water and electric, seven sites non-electric, one tent site, dump station, two shower houses, a playground, horseshoe pit. Here's a nice spot right here. 18, it's a pull through. Okay, these over here, these are kind of close together, really. But 43, you get uh, your reason they call this the dam site campground is it's, the dam is right there. Here's 44, that's a beautiful site. You're by yourself in that one. And this one as well, 45. Pull through right here. 
We got a whole group of fishermen right here. We're gonna go out here to the point. We actually looked down here at the point this morning, thought about taking one over here, but we found the one where we're at right now and we love it. 51, 52, 54, right here, you're getting pretty close to your neighbor. Okay, right there. 55, 58, 59's got a beautiful spot right here. Right on the end. Right on the end. That is a beautiful, look how beautiful that is. 60 is a pull through spot. 60, this is the one we were looking at this morning. Beautiful down here. 64, 65. I'm going to bring this in so the fishermen people don't think I'm stupid. Right here's the playground. And these sites over here, can you see some numbers, Dave? 11. 11, 10. Is um, work your way backwards up to one at the top of the these hill. These are right across from the sewage treatment plant. So I think when that is running, that is quite loud. Here we are. We're going through the loop campsites 92 through 100. It did just rain in Missouri, so there's a lot of water seeping out of these hills. There's a vault toilet. Now these are the primitive spots. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. We were kind of thinking about maybe 99 down there by itself, because that's a pretty good view, but we kept on going. Dave said, let's go ahead and finish looking at all of the park. There's another vault toilet. So we came around the corner, finishing up this last loop. And as you can see, over there, that's where we were earlier, where all the fisher guys are. And as we turned up the hill, all of a sudden, David noticed that these sites have electricity. 113, 114, 115. And that's where we are. And they got water up here. Water up here as well. 116, 117. 118, 21, 122, and 123 up here on top of the hill. There is another bathhouse up here. We've already tried that. The doors are still locked since it's off season. We're back in our own camp after the campground tour. We're getting our fire started. We got Lots of wood lined up. I am about ready to get into the hammock with my Kindle, but I just wanted to show you our view one more time. Like the water all of a sudden has just turned into like glass. We are thinking about going down there, trying our luck at fishing. Beautiful. I am so glad we decided to come here. It's beautiful here. We are living now. We got a new spotting scope from our buddy Bud. I've got the GoPro ready to get an amazing sunset. There are birds. You can't see them probably on here, but there are birds and ducks just skimming on top of the water. And all of a sudden they'll just dive down. Dave, how long can ducks hold their breath down there? I don't know. I have to Google it. Imagine a couple of minutes, or at least a minute. Look at that. You Probably see that? Like crocodiles. <laughs> what? Crocodiles can hold their, minute, hold their breath for a couple of minutes, so <laughs> alligators. We've put chicken fajitas with cheese sauce into the King Cooker Jr. Dave's going to show you how we fire up the fire. The wood's wet from the previous rain. Let me 
me show him the tip of that that you just showed me. We got a little too close last time at the last fire, but supper will be ready to eat in about one minute. <laughs> oh, gorgeous here. I can't say it enough how gorgeous it is here. Oh, go, buddy, go. Birds, ducks, they're swimming, they're squawking, they're feeding. I don't know if you can see them. Okay, I'm inside the camper. It's pretty windy out there. And tonight for dinner, I want to make some cherry turnovers. So I've got some crescent rolls and cherry pie filling. I think I might put some cream cheese on some of them and some of them not. And then I'm going to put them in my Coleman oven. I put cream cheese on one. The other one's just going to be the cherry pie filling. You guys should be impressed doing the pie filling with my left hand. Okay, I think that's probably enough. I don't want it to ooze out. Okay, I'm gonna wrap those up and then I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like. Cherry turnovers are ready to go in the camp oven. I'm actually trying this Coleman oven on my hot pad. Gonna put it in there. I'm gonna be close. I have no idea if this is gonna work or not, but a heat source is a heat source is the way I'm thinking. I'll show you the finished product. So my leftover cherry pie filling and whipped cream cheese is going into a bowl. And I'm just gonna put this cherry pie filling on top of that, put it in the refrigerator for dessert for maybe tomorrow or I don't know, sometime. I just don't want to do anything with this half open cherry pie can, so I'm going to make it into a little cherry cheesecake. David suggested I come back in and do a video and show you all how this is 1200 watt hot plate, but we have it hooked to an external uh, cord. There's a door under that little area that it goes to the outside to the pedestal at our campsite. We are sitting at about a little over 225, and I'm going to check them here in just a second. They are looking really good. I think I'm about to turn it off. I don't want it to burn on the bottom. So I'm going to push that back in there and probably just turn this off. We got uh, chicken feet and nachos for supper tonight. Just let them stay in there warm while we get ready to eat supper. Got the chicken fajitas ready. Look at that. Is that look good, Dave? Yep. We're just sitting here eating supper, watching all the ducks and the birds fly. Isn't it amazing, Dave? Yep. Like, this is our new favorite thing. You can catch us at a Corps of Engineer campground from now on. Especially Mate. during shoulder season. It, only during shoulder season. Yep. If this campground was full, we would not be here. Uh, five dollars for electricity. I just, I know I keep saying that, but I'm just like, how have we never known about this before? It does help that David just got his America the Beautiful Pass, the senior version, yep. last week. So that helps. You yep. got to have that for the five dollars because that makes uh, the ten dollars half. See there? I'm the PE teacher too. <laughs> All right, we are going to put this down. We're going to call it a night. Obviously camping here tonight, so we will see you in the morning.
had a surprise shower. Oh man, it was nice sleeping in that truck camper. Um, out here this morning, I'm making a quick breakfast for me. I heated up, uh, we bought a piece of breakfast pizza for Dave yesterday, so I've already heated that up for him. I'm adding yogurt. I'm using the Two Goods vanilla. Chopped up some strawberries that we bought yesterday at the Amish place on the way down here. Before I left home, I had some leftover blueberries and blackberries. So I'm adding that in. Not eating all this at once, but. And I'm gonna add in some sugar-free whipped topping. I do this at home a lot, it's just a quick breakfast. Or it can be a quick dessert too. Just mix it all up, breakfast is served. I turned around from making uh, that little fruit salad breakfast and the fog is lifting and it's just beautiful out here. Gorgeous, it's a gorgeous morning. Uh, we had some boats out earlier this morning. Sounded like we had some NASCAR green flag racing going on out here on the lake. But that, that only lasted a little bit and then we went back to sleep. Just beautiful. We've had our breakfast. It's time for us to pop the truck camper down. We're getting ready to load up and go home. We just want to give you our final thoughts on dam site campground. It's Corps of Engineer campground here in Hermitage, Missouri. It's on the Palm de Terre Lake. Dave, what you think of the lake? Lake is water is really clear. You can see down into the water, almost two foot. Oh, uh, that's why we're standing here. We were actually going to sit at the table, but it got pretty cold last night, and the table is all frosted. So we're standing. The view that you're seeing behind us is the view that we have from campsite 115 here at this campground. We have enjoyed this campground a lot, and particularly this site, even though we're the only people here. This site just has a magnificent view. Up here on this hill, like if you come around the loop, is down at the bottom is the primitive camping. But if you keep coming up to this second loop, there's a string of about 10 sites up here that have electricity that's overlooking the lake. And that's our vote. Like there's nothing across the way from us. It's really nice here. Yep. Just the woods, lots of geese, some ducks, squirrels. This campground right here is right near Hermitage. You got the dam side campground right here across the dam and on the other side is Outlet Park. Yep. And it is beautiful down there. People have called it a hidden gem. Uh, we've been down there. Make sure and keep watching. We have a uh, playlist of Corps of Engineer campgrounds out of Palm de Tier Lake and that's one of them, Outlet Park. It's nice down there as well. Anything else we want to say about this park, Dave? Not that I can think of right now. We are, we've decided we're going to start doing Corps of Engineer campground tours and Missouri State Park campground tours. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure and hit that subscribe button. America's beautiful. Get out and see it. I can subscribe if you want to. We'll see you on the road. We've banded up for a summer.